What's up guys, JB2017 here, and today marks the start of a brand new mod spotlight series here on my channel, where I will showcase some of the most popular and interesting mods available on Bethesda.net. Every mod that you see in this series is ready to download now on PC, but it'll also be available soon on consoles once that support is added in. Since this is a new series, I'd like to ask for your feedback in the comment section below, because I value your opinion. For instance, I'd like to know if you can see yourself watching and enjoying this series on my channel moving forward, so don't hesitate to provide some constructive criticism after you've watched the video. Today, in honor of the official release of Update 1.5 on PC, which is finally out of beta, I thought I'd cover one of the most useful mods out there so far. It's called the Unofficial Fallout 4 Patch, created by Arthmore and the Unofficial Patch Project team. Starting off with the description, the Unofficial Fallout 4 Patch is a comprehensive bug-fixing mod for Fallout 4. The goal is to eventually fix every bug with Fallout 4 not officially resolved by the developers to the limits of the creation kit and community developed tools in one easy to install package. So essentially, whatever Bethesda does not or cannot fix, this mod aims to fix it for you. And this is a mod that seems almost necessary simply because of how many bugs exist in Bethesda and Fallout games. Now you may be one of those players who have been lucky and avoided bugs almost entirely, but I know there are still plenty others who deal with these issues constantly and this is really a lifesaver. Already this mod includes hundreds of gameplay, quest, NPC, object, item, text, mesh, and placement fixes. So there's really a huge variety of fixes available already. And if you're looking for a specific fix, I've left a link in the description to a complete list of fixes so far that this mod has to offer. Keep in mind though that if you don't find something specific, that's because the mod has only been out for 10 days so far. It's very young in its, you know, life cycle. So the great thing is that the unofficial patch project team will constantly continue to update this mod, adding more and more fixes. I expect the list to expand a ton, perhaps two times, maybe even three times by the time console mods release, you know, in a month for Xbox One and another month after that for PS4. If you're looking at this and you're worried about this mod ruining your game or something like that, you don't have to worry. I think a lot of the mods that are provided and available on Bethesda.net have kind of been vetted and Bethesda is making sure, hey, these mods work and there's something that we can actually allow, you know, everyone to try out. And you also don't have to worry because it doesn't alter any stock objects. This mod doesn't do that. It really doesn't do anything that would break your game. It's also designed to be compatible with most other mods that you could find, so you don't have to worry about that either. You can go out and get plenty of other mods and not worry about this because it'll still work and it shouldn't break anything else. So overall, for me, this is both a bug fixing mod and a preventative mod in my eyes, kind of a preventative measure that you can download and it'll take care of problems you didn't even know about. You know, if you follow any sort of forum or maybe a subreddit for Fallout, you'll read that you know tons of people come into bugs and encounter things and they really do affect a lot of players. If you think about it, each time you start a new playthrough on a new character, that pretty much resets the chance that you'll encounter a bug in any given situation, whether it's a quest or some other random isolated bug. You know, one time you may have a bug on that particular quest, while another run you may be just fine. All in all, this is just a smart mod to have active on your game at all times, whether you're on PC or consoles, and it's definitely something I plan on running no matter what. Speaking of which, if you're on Xbox One or PS4, and this is a mod that you would want to have in the future when it becomes available for you, I encourage you to click on the link for this mod in the description below where that is. And once you sign into your account on Bethesda.net, you can click add to library. There's an option there that says add to library, and that will save this mod for you when you can download it to your console when you have that mod support functionality. In the background, you guys have been watching just some random gameplay along with some more relevant stuff related to this mod. And I'll admit, it's kind of hard to show off this mod in a video because it's all about fixing bugs. But I'll talk a little bit about some more specific things. My favorite fixes so far are to the stats and the perks. So for example, level three and level four of Chemist, which is intelligence seven perk, showed an intelligence requirement of only five instead of seven. And that's just a really minor thing that shouldn't have been there in the first place, but that's been fixed with this mod. Levels one and two of the Ninja perk weren't working properly with two-handed melee weapons. They weren't calculating properly, which is something I didn't even know about and I wouldn't have known about without this mod. Also, level three of Idiot Savant was miscalculating experience gains, and if you had eight intelligence with the perk active, it would affect your weapons, which is like a really big deal for me, a really big issue because I love character building, and all of that stuff is fixed with this mod. There's also a fix for the clean black suit item, which you can wear, obviously, that allows you to apply Ballistic Weave, which is something that should have been there in the first place because you can apply it to certain suits, but for this one, you couldn't for no particular reason. It didn't make sense. So that really gives you a general idea of 
of the type of fixes that this mod has to offer in all facets of the game. So the general gist of this series is to show off some mods, kind of play around with them, show you step by step how they work and give a little review of them all in the same video. And I know this was a shorter video. I plan on these being a little bit longer, but this is kind of what I'm going for with this series and, you know, with showing off mods. I think it's really something relevant now that mods are coming to consoles very soon and something you guys would like to enjoy. So once again, I would really appreciate it. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you offered some feedback on this series, if you have any suggestions or any opinions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you guys know of any really cool or interesting mods that you'd like for me to cover in this series, feel free to suggest some in the comments below. Just remember that they need to be offered on Bethesda.net, not Nexus or anything else like that. All right, guys, today I showed off the unofficial Fallout 4 patch mod for Fallout 4. And next time we'll cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more survival mode, Bethesda.net mods, Far Harbor DLC, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.